You can't talk of Zimbabwe football without the trio of Dynamos, Highlanders and Caps United. But in recent years, the three traditional giants have been under siege from the corporate back clubs. Now, as the 2020 season starts with the Challenge Cup on Saturday, we are saying, can the big three stand up and be counted? My name is Howard Msonza. Welcome to the couch on Zimbabwe's TV network. And I am Shomani Chasweka. A special thanks to our sponsors, Palenta Nutri-Active Instant Porridge. We're also looking great, and it's all because of 4 May. A special thanks also goes to uh, GTAL. They're also running some promotions. So, yeah, on the couch, uh, we have got my comrade with Tim Kulu. Momo is not here today. How is the couch? Yeah, comfortable. <laughs> Flying solo. <laughs> yeah, but Flying you look, solo. you're looking good as usual. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm playing under closed doors. Okay. They are doing business right. behind closed doors, like all the other matches these days, behind closed doors, so more, more is not Also here. more is... Self-quarantine, but <laughs> right. we're hoping that you'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah, but you're looking great. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks to For Me. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Palent as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a guest artist today, and uh, his name is Toki Vibes. Welcome to the Couch, Toki. Now you will do it. Now you will do it. You will do it, could be. What do you say? I want to go to the suit and I want to go to and I want to go to the I want to I was reading, um, I think, an article in uh, Ishmael a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You started to see some guy was claiming to be your father. Well, what was really going <laughs> on in <near> that guy? I was going to go to the house. I was going to go to the so to work at Dufu and go and go and post a picture. I'm not going to go to the house. Imagine. But I'm going to go to the house. 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 i my project is that I get up in 2019. I got time to write album Redo Villagers Money. Yeah, my thing I'm going to ask is also the book. Except for one thing, there's that song in Kabano. Hands up, Dick. Ping. Yes. Yeah, but he does that song. So I'm going to make you see. We're going to do it as we write. Mm-hmm. For that, we're going to do Alright, please play us a song. Watch. bang bang bang. Zirina ni guvenger wasawuri. Panegu fariri wasawusi. Oh. Bari povanero, 
Alright. We'll come back to you, Toki, and as we talk more about your life, your music. Mm -hmm. uh, now, our topic today is Zimbabwe Premier Soccer League Big Three. Can they rock again as 2020 season beckons? These are Dynamo's Highlanders and Caps United. We'll discuss why they have lacked the cutting edge and why now they could rise again. But first, uh, we look at other football news. International Marvelous Nakamba still believes that Aston Villa can still fight to avoid relegation this season. He was speaking after they were crushed 4 0 by Leicester on Monday. The Warriors midfielder believes there are many points to uh, play for. He says he believes in his teammates and they just need to support each other. So, yeah, um, look, the story of Aston Villa. Um, mm. When the season started, they went on a spending spree. They brought in what? Close to 15 players. Yeah. But uh, it hasn't replicated on the field of play. They are second from the bottom. They're in the relegation zone. But our story is on Marvelous Nakamba. Yeah, that's the yeah. big story for us. But what's really going on? One thing that I, I like, though, about Marvelous, two games in a row now, he's been uh, Villa's best player. But what's really going on? No, they're a poor team. No two ways about it. Poor, poor in terms of the pocket? No, poor in terms of the football. You see how they play. They play with about nine defense-minded players. But the shipping goes like nobody's business. Um, they will be relegated. To be this honest. is a given. It's given. That's the way they are playing. That's the way they are looking. And for Marvelous, I think for him, good going because he's saying the things that the Villa fans would like to hear. He was the best player on Monday night. The best player comes out after the match and says, look, guys, we'll continue fighting. But I think what Marvelous is now doing is to play to, to attract the eyes of the other teams to say, look, I don't deserve to go and play in the championship. I've done business in the Premier League. In a sea of uh, poor players, I've shown. I've tried to, to, to show you guys that I can play football, and he's done that. And he's playing a good game, doing what he's supposed to be doing. And Dean Smith has been full of praise. He said we, have a, we had a poor game, but marvelous was marvelous. And that's what he needs to do. He's making the right sounds, and he's making the right moves on the pitch as well. All right. Now, Shemaine was in one of the shops uh, in Harare to find out what Aston Villa shirt mean to Zimbabwe. Here in Harare, Aston Villa shirts have found a market. Well, thanks to Marvelous Nakamba, who moved to the English club. The biggest question, though, now is will the situation here in the market actually remain the same if uh, the English club is relegated? Uh, so far, most, most of them, they are already done. They were taken. They were on hot demand, especially soon after the move. But right now, as the season is coming to an end, things slow down a little bit. It's Aston Villa, Manchester United, and Liverpool. Those ones, they move like hot cakes. So now, next story, will it be Highlanders or FC Platinum? That is the biggest question, uh, and uh, it will be settled at Barberfield Stadium on Saturday. The Premier Soccer League champions and the Chibuku Super Cup champions clash in the Castle Lager Challenge match, a season opener for 2010. Meanwhile, FC Platinum have officially announced the signing of the new striker, Elias Maguri, ahead of their uh, match against uh, Highlanders. Uh, we can confirm that we have signed a Tanzanian striker, uh, Elias Muguri. 
Um, he is joining us from um, Nakambala Leopards. Uh, we look forward to his positive contribution to the club and we wish him all the best uh, in the 2020 season with FC Platinum. So here's a team that has gone back to East Africa. Uh, we had a program here on, yeah. uh, on the couch where we were talking about you know, players that are going to play outside looking for greener pastures. Yeah. But here's a team that's plucking players. Now, Maguri from Nakambala Leopards in the Tanzanian Vodacom League coming to play here. Yeah, because they have the money. Money answered all things. I mean, look, it was Sadomba made the career of playing in countries such as Libya. Why? The money. Yeah, but look at the irony. Yeah. yeah uh, one of their best players went to Azam. Yeah. In Tanzania. And I hear he scored. He scored two twice, goals. Two yes. Goals. One brilliant. And they plucked the player from there. Yeah. To sort of fill in the void. Yeah. And one thing that they're doing really is you can tell that they're looking beyond the local premiership. They want to play Cup Champions League football. And they're preparing for that. Um, I'm not too sure about the guy that they've signed, but I know that they have a good team. What they just need to do is to sort out their defense and get a guy who scores goals. That's the biggest problem that FC Platinum had. Um, hopefully, De Jong has got some things up his sleeves. I'm told he told Gift Bello that you're too short to be a central defender. <laughs> that's brutal, but it's honest. Yeah, but what do you mean that's, that's honest? We know Gift Bello, what he has done with Dynamo in the CAF Champions League. Look, he was for a long time at Dynamo a standout player. Despite his, 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 his short height and, and, and all. Mr. Msonza, for all your diplomacy, <laughs> if, we, if we have two defenders here, okay, we've got two center halves, one tall one, and one short. You are the opposition coach. When you look at this team, who is your weakest link? And Dani Panabelo. That's what they do. Whether you've got a spring in your step or you rise like Cristiano Ronaldo, the fact that you are small, at center half, you cannot play. Can you mark Lukaku when you're that short? You can't. Okay. You made how talented you are. You're watching the couch here on ZTN. Now, in another story, coronavirus continues to affect the game of football across the world. In Europe, it has, uh, you know, it is perhaps Syria that has been greatly hit with a European country in complete lockdown. This means that uh, Syria is off for now and chances are it could come back in April. Across Europe, games are now being played behind closed doors. Champions League matches affected include Barcelona versus Napoli, Bayern against Chelsea, PSG versus Borussia Dortmund. You know, this really looks like a crisis, Marco. It is, eh? Mm -hmm. It is. But um, 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 one thing that surprised me over the weekend, the English Premiership, they say no handshake. But the moment the match starts, <laughs> they start there's shaking. pulling, there's so much tussling. Now you realize what's better now, a handshake or the tussling. <laughs> but it's, look, it's, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Even here in Africa, you, you look at the Warriors game in Algeria. This is the moment that Zifa should write a letter to say, look, Paul intends and paper says we are not comfortable sending our team to Algeria. Because the area we are supposed to play in. Bleeder. Yeah, that's the epicenter of this thing. So it's it's... Hopefully it comes to an end soon. And I tried to watch a game uh, that was played behind closed doors. Without all that noise, it seems like you're watching Tom and Jerry. <laughs> hey, there's too much noise. There's yeah. the, the sound when the, the Italians speak. I'm like, okay. This I cannot handle. Hmm. Let's hear from, from Toki. Uh, I'm sure on am going to the coronavirus. And Makombore is talking about my games behind closed doors. And to tell you, my guitar is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan of my fans. I don't know if the corona is not a fan Cheto tungote na maruguta shono tangu ira kubi kunogo. Lego kunogo pamoja dadi sina dombe ya interview ni. Nuto wa nuto ora wa nuto iri dangerous iso kuto daro. Saka isusa na uti na kira maringa watu kumbori ringa watu nzuiro tizi tiba bu. Corona ngai ngo pele a special kunogo ifa na tumbo kushika kana kawani. Ante. Hmm. All right. So we are you are checking the couch right here on ZTN.
So guys, remember here on the couch, you stand a chance of winning a diary, an umbrella, and a cap thanks to GTAL. And all you need to do is answer the following questions. So the first question we're asking today is name three clubs in the PSL that uh, Stuart Maurice have played for. The second one, who is the coach um, Highlanders and which other two clubs did he coach in PSL? And the last one, which player at Dynamos has played for Highlanders before? When we come back, we look at Zimbabwe PSL big three clubs, Dynamos, Highlanders, and Caps United. We look at the history and, you know, possibility that they can come back. You're watching the catch. You're watching the couch right here on Zimbabwe's TV network where we are discussing uh, football. And today, our guest artist, though, is a talky vibes. <laughs> so, I've, I've been following your, your career. Mm -hmm. You know, when you started, song, I am I, mm -hmm. and uh, what has happened before, even uh, and, and mm -hmm. you know, up to now. Panema mm highs, -hmm. Panema lows. But after it all, Toki Vibe is still standing. And I remember the late legend Oliver Mtukud saying, you are the future, Diwe Music Yacho. How did you feel with your words? I don't know if I'm but I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I do Baba, I'm too good to have funds over radio and military and what is ah, and I'm going to go. Can I now play a piece of a new player clip? It or no one do you thought ah, and fun of sorrow and fun of sorrow. The fun of good music is keep and fun of sugar. Could it sing at Zema Dara? Music, you're not in by no she talk. I mean, I wonder who pass it, but in any music, and those here, there's good and bad shit. One is what it is, the young what it is, but the I can have doubt to pay with them. Gang would in Dandy go around. Dandy go around. A boy's susu to need a quarter song is racy. And gave a for ring of a chee. Could a tanga queen by Jack Chagan, not on Botanga queen by Maritim, the Imbug Church, step in a post story, name Gomada is home room. I could do part with Nama Peter, Banachi. But in the two in Bego was motivated. Ah, one and a chip. Ibo in Borom, sir. Eh, Posito, where good Munema Tanga, Takatanga, Pina Marit, Meguja Maiga. Samarata, Paso, Tostanga, Guito Marit, may do take a monom, Dok Tanga, Zetana, Mai, Anani, Tuchita, Tut Tutti, a e danso, Yangaka, we are Africa. Okay, because you need to dance in. Danso in Vogue Jamaica. Sagai Susu, Tikadagu, Tedra, Jesus, Nutu, and Jamaicans. You can never be better than them. Pogitas and Zau. Sagai Stagona de Mayas, Banesha Tina, Jesus, and Gangoturo, Kiki, and a bass, Tutanga with some African instruments, Edu. Kuti, Shirambe, Zenega, African Gage, Sagandu, Samona, Banana, Tushiri, Tot, Tot, the Mama Song, Agassiana, Siana, but Danso, and Dorengeri, Big Bone. But the father talk to you, you know, Masutu and all. Masutu, daddy. Hey, I you are. Yeah, go out there. Bachelor is the public. I'm going to go to the couch. Next song, I'll go to the couch. Next song, I'll go to the couch. I'm going to go to the couch. I'm going to go to the couch. I'm going to go to the couch. And I'm going to go to the couch. I'm going to go to the couch. Huh? Bang bang bang. She 
What inspired you to eat this song? No, but I am memory foundation going on. Who might kill our natives in Woody? Tom, my Eh, I didn't know Manduan Zir, the a Then he Eh, oh, not I got put it to bed as a duet the cheese the Buddhist and not to shock all my queen by your house in Gazi, cannot go to our house in Gazi, and Tony got we are going apple. I reverse. Sky Susu means gear, do to no one's way in by Satinora Rama, do Satinate no bona, Satinos the end as too much children go with it and no teacher word. So we can say inspiration, Niako, it comes from your daily life. Yeah, I'm doing for Pope in your Quite inspiration in his stuff. Right. Yes, I don't know what Chris Brown. Cause they do or they go represent Africa. The second time he did not go and get was a worry, and a was a Interesting. We'll come back to you, Toki. Yeah, so we're discussing the big three in Zimbabwe football. Why do we say Dynamo's Highlanders and Caps United are the big three? Well, since 1962, the three giants have won the league title more than 30 times combined. Yeah, uh, it's not business as usual for the big three. Highlanders' last league title was back in 2006 under Mitemed Lovu. Dynamo's last uh, won the league title under Kalisto Pesua in 2014, while Caps United was in 2016 under Lloyd Chitembwe. So this is the situation that we find with these traditional giants. Yeah. Because uh, back in the day, you talk about Zimbabwe football. Um, I'm not trying to look down upon FC Platinum or any other team for that matter, but they would always say Dynamo's. Highlanders or Caps United. Yeah, true. But we are in 2020 now. 
you know, the 2020 season is about to start. So it's about, what, three, four years without any of those three uh, getting the, the league championship. What, what has been going on? Well, they've grown to into projects that are bigger than the idea. I think when Dynamos were formed in that uh, in Bari, the 1963, I don't think those Madalas believed that this thing would be as huge as it is today. Because you look at Dynamos, you get the feeling that they are stuck in their own era. They use a hired chambers. They don't have a stadium of their own. Up until this season, they used to get players on loan. Then you think, this is not how Dynamo should do business. Caps United used to be based on professionalism and, and good money, and big money. When the company was there, we know that Caps United would get players and pay them well. Individually owned, you had the Twine Piri era, falling out for right, Jerry. Highlanders is basically the same where this big institution, it just remains big in numbers and emotions, but they haven't invested in it. So you get to a point where Danamos arrives at um, our alley um, and they see the village, and the Danamos players go gaga like, huh? How can a team have a hotel? And then these guys, does Danamos have a hotel? They say no. You see the big golfing class in terms of how Dynamos are supposed to develop. So what you, you are left with uh, a mythical 7 million supporters and a football team that does not do football business. And when you have that, guys will come in, guys like Chicken will come in, FC Platinum will come in. And to be honest, we don't miss Dynamos because the football that we are watching these days is much better than the Dynamos that used to win with Kalisto Pasuo Wanyo in terms of excitement. That's where we are. So what, what needs to be done? With this? Is it a mindset shift? Or maybe probably the way they are doing business, it's not the proper way. It's the mindset shift. Mindset shift. Do they operate as a business? If you go to Blau, if you go to the Highlanders Clubhouse, you get the resemblance of order. There is an office. Where are the Dynamo's offices? When you walk in the streets of Harare, have you ever seen a Dynamo's car? The Dynamo's FC? No. Two years ago, they, they launched water. Have you found the water in the shops these days? No. That's who they are. That's who they are. They say, see another team, you don't any confusion. See, that's what they want. And this is, these are the results. If you want to be confused off the pitch, the results will not follow you onto the pitch. Interesting. Well, we'll take a look at, uh, you know, the history, you know, which gives us uh, an idea of where these clubs have come from. Between 1962 and 1970, Dynamos won the league title three times. Uh, between 19 1971 to 1980, Dynamos won it three times, while Caps United won it once. Between 1981 and 1990, Dynamos won it six times, while Highlanders won it once. From 1991 to 2000, Dynamos won it four times. Highlanders three times and Caps United once. A decade which was, you know, the most successful for the big three combined? Yeah, from uh, 2001 to 2010, Highlanders won the league title three times, Caps United two times, and uh, Dynamos only once. Uh, from 2011 up to 2019, Dynamos won it four times, and Akalisto Pasua and Caps United once. Now, it is certainly not a straw in the park for the big three because uh, of the issues that you're talking about and uh, obviously where our football is going. Yeah. yeah, because uh, at the end of the day, you hear FIFA through CAF, then ZIFA talking about FIFA club licensing. Yeah. And uh, it, it's not just a name, you know, when they talk about club licensing, but they are looking at probably a club like Caps United, a club like Dynamos, how best can it be self-sustaining? True. So are we going to see such a time when um, Highlanders, for example, are self-sustaining? Highlanders, you... You can see the light. You, you can see how they manage it in terms of the way they hold their AGMs, the way the club members make the executive accountable. But when you look at it, do we have examples internationally where this thing is called a community-owned team? Everybody says, Highlanders, I have a piece in Highlanders. I have a stake. Fair and fine. But when it comes to the business of it, can we get a Russian billionaire who is ready to invest a million dollars into Islanders?
for a team that is owned by the community. Dynamo's, whatever Bernard Marriott says, goes. I'm told sometimes his wife says, <laughs> Imagine that. There was a time when Dynamo's wanted to be bought by a right businessman. The figures were just outrageous. Just okay, simple, simple rules. We know that between the two of them, Namoto Tisan and Farai Jere, they hold controlling stakes in Caps United. The 100%, I don't know how they divide it. How many shares are in Dynamo's football club? We don't know. If Dynamo's is to be sold, how much a share will it cost? We don't know. So these are just institutions, really, that play football and are followed by a big crowd. They are not different from the team that we have here, Zimpepa's FC. We play football, but the only thing that we don't have are fans. Because if we had fans, we are basically the same as Dynamo's. Because Dynamo's are not a business. They don't sell replicas. Highlanders, they do not sell replicas. Caps United, they have their own, but they're not of top quality. And these are the big, you, you say they're the, the big three. But yeah, does it show? On that issue of replicas, because I've gone to Rufaro Stadium. Yeah. Uh, small boys, you know, I'm selling a, a flag, I'm selling just against dynamos. Who is benefiting at the end of the day? You go to the National Sports Stadium, it's the same story with uh, uh, Caps United. I don't know if they are Caps United vendors, because you find a lot of scarves, you find a lot of flags, some jerseys. I don't know. But who is benefiting? Can they have a system at least to control that and the revenue goes to the clubs how can they have a system when they don't have offices when they don't have chief executive officers they don't have a group of five people who wake up each morning going to work for the football club when i was growing up one of my favorite areas that i used to go was the dynamo shop i don't know remember where it was but my father used to take me there and you see memory and the other guys that would work there who owns this shop dynamo's football club do they own it now? They don't. During the days of Lloyd Owen Lincoln and Taza, Dynamo's bought land in waterfalls. And during one meeting, financial reports are being prepared and they're presented. We bought land in uh, waterfalls. That land now is worth this much. The Dynamo's player said, no, 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 sell that land. Why do you keep reporting about land? Now Dynamo's do not have a land. They claim that Rufaro is their home, but it is, their, is it their home? It's not. They don't own it. And they're always begging from one place to the other. Where do they train? We don't know. Well, guys, remember here on the couch, you stand a chance of winning a diary, umbrella, and a cap. Thanks to GTAL, all you need to do is answer the following questions. And the first question, name three clubs in the PSL that Stuart Murisa played for. Second one, who is the coach Highlanders and which other two clubs did he coach in PSL? And the last one, which player Adanamos has played for Highlanders before? Well, when we come back, we look at the three coaches leading the three clubs and whether, you know, the caliber of players they have uh, you know, discussing uh, if they have what it takes to give them back their dominance. Stay with us. Special thanks to our sponsors, Palenta Nutriactive Instant Porridge. We are also looking, you know, great because of Fove. We also have a special promotion from GTEL. Um, our topic today, though, is Zimbabwe PSL Big Three. Can they rock again as 2020 season beckons? One of the areas a lot of people, you know, will look at is the caliber of coaches at the helm of the Big Three. Highlanders have got themselves a former Harare City coach, Mark Harrison. This is after the departure of Peter Dijon, who joined rivals FC Platinum. Yeah, so one European for another. Uh, yeah. That's the story at, at, at Highlanders. So I'm, I'm just looking at um, Mark Harrison. Yes, we spoke about him. Is he the right candidate and all that? So the first thing that he did when he came through uh, was to try and bolster the squad. Yeah. And he brought in, uh, I don't know which superlative can I use here. Should I use tired legs? Should I use... Uh, but... There's a guy who was uh, deemed excess baggage at FC Platinum, Muko Kelly Dube, yeah. and they pounced on the guy. I understand where they're coming from. He's a, he's a club, son. 
They owe him one last season. And, uh, but because they have another Duane Prince, you would want Mukokeli for those 10, 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> okay. Highlanders do not have a bag full of money to go for transfers. They, not, they don't. And they are not, they're not the most attractive team financially in Bulawayo anymore. Back in the day, every boy wanted to play for Highlanders, even if it was for pittance. But he looks across town at Luveve, he sees chicken in. Yes, they played before a near empty crowd, an empty stadium rather, but they get paid. At Highlanders, you play before a big crowd, you also get paid, but if you can't make it at Highlanders, you're better off at chicken in. That's, that's the challenge that Harrison has. But one thing that Harrison has are fans who are quick to appreciate good football. And they will rally behind the team. Everybody who has played football, they tell you that going to BF, you're walking into an intimidating zone where every minute the Highlander supporters believe that something is about to happen. And the good thing about Mark Harrison is he wants the ball to be passed around. And that's what Highlanders need. I'm not sure that they have the pace to bend down the wings because if they don't have the pace then to bend down the wings, the Highlanders' way of playing will not come out. Prince will score, but down the wings. Do they have, can Lunga give them the pace? I don't know, but if Prince Dube is to start scoring like he did last season, and the Bozo fans start to believe, and the road shows start to follow, Highlanders can be unstoppable. Home Kokeli score? Well, in the Independence Cup semi-final, maybe. But, you know, he's, <laughs> Mkokeli is a, is a good guy, you know, to... I love cheering into people, but Mkokeli is a good guy, you know, model, professional. Uh, at FC Platinum, he rock with his Chevrolet, but he was the first one to get to training. Okay. That professional attitude, if the young boys can learn from him, I think he will bring more to Highlanders, just more than goals. Maybe four goals he will score when they play against Yad, I mean... You, you, he will score. But he brings much more than goals. He brings that experience. He plays in the States. He's disciplined. And some of the boys at Islanders really need that discipline. All right, let's now cross uh, to our man, Mehluli Sibanda, Sunday new senior writer, to give us uh, what Highlanders looks like this season. And another back to, um, back to where it all started at Bauf, I mean, at uh, the Powerful Stadium. Back to where it started for, I mean, for him with Highlanders. I mean, leading the strike force for Islanders again with, uh, with the young Prince Dube. And there's a young striker called Rotis Vanda, uh, former uh, Pirates, Orlando Pirates, uh, a junior player who was playing for the multi choice district team, I mean, uh, up until last year. And uh, Katsuairo, of course, uh, Michel Katsuairo, he's, 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 he's a veteran. I mean, the, these players have been around. So in, it's interesting that that front line for Islanders, I mean, it's been really boosted by presence of Pokemon Dube. Uh, I mean, together with uh, Katsuairo, with, um, with, uh, with Rodis Banda coming to that factor as well. So it's interesting how uh, Harrison, I mean, uh, I mean, plays around with all these, I mean, all these options. I mean, up front for, I mean, for him. They're looking at the fact Eros Banda is still there, but he's got uh, a tough challenge in Chris Berechena and the uh, reward Musa. These are two young uh, goalkeepers who are really pushing Eros Banda. I mean, this season, and then the defense, of course, uh, Peter Mudua is still there for Highlanders. Uh, Together with, uh, with Humphrey Nube, he's a new man at left back for Islanders, uh, and then uh, Charlton Semalonga has been playing at right back. Uh, I mean, for Islanders, I mean, I mean, all these matches. Uh, the young Andrew Mbeba is still there as well. Um, you look at Nobita Masugu, still, I mean, still marshaling, I mean, things in the middle of the park for Islanders. So, so that's Mesluli Sivanda giving us an update on what's happening in Islanders. But I was just listening, and uh, yes, there are a couple of new guys there. One left back, Chris Berechena, but there is no way that Chris is going to go there and, and claim the number one jersey no, from no, Ario Sibanda. No, but coming. one name that I heard again, Michel Cachairo. <sighs> okay. Right. Uh, I, I know you love tearing into people, but Michel Cachairo, what, what can he give to Highlanders? Because Michel went to Kaiser Chiefs in South Africa, played there, and um, they said, it wasn't really about football for him. Yeah. I don't know if well, the bright lights. Then uh, he came back, went to, to, to Tanzania, went back to South Africa. Now he went to, to Ngezi Platinum. It didn't work out. Now he's at Highlanders. What oh. can he give Highlanders? Oh, he can give you a bit of swagger. 
he dresses well. Today, he really wants swag. And you ask me what he brings to Ireland. Okay. Because I'm looking at football wise, he brings nothing. How are you? How are they ended up signing him? You look, when you're poor. Maybe the discipline of Mukokeli, the swagger of. Uh, I mean, I look. Kachairo. When you don't have much money, you take freebies as well. Oh. Because okay. when you're training, when you want to play FIFA 11 v 11, you've got your first 11, you need the other 11. And I think. So he's on the other said, 11. Ah, look, man, he's, he's, he's a big disappointment. From the boy who played for Chicken Inn. And how fast do you fall? And you go to Kaiser Chiefs. You, you go to Kaiser Chiefs, you fall. You go to Tanzania, you fall. You come to Zimbabwe, you fall. But outside the pitch, we hear you're scoring, boy. <laughs> Imagine that. Look, I mean, in all fairness, Michelle is, has been a big disappointment. Talking about it, how you been doing? Which team do you support? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, total. I don't say I'm going to do something bad. It's not like it. Can you please elaborate? I mean, caps. To be to carry on to andam paratika. To andam parat. Give to bail and do my blast. Do you mind and go and go? Eh, that's when they talk andam fundis. I'm not big at getting like. Oh, yeah. So it's not. I'm not surprised to do it at that boss. So I change to go to our dynamos. 2014 was the last time Tiger win a title. Maybe you know down and I'm so bitter. I'm not even going to die. 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 I'm not Mm. Ah, my own. <laughs> but there's a model who can even South Africa. Let me mm. just go to South Africa. Van on top in a ground at ten. Do you know what's happening? Van a talk you go go and do a wimba. Ground. Van mira my teams. I don't say. How we? How one about the music? The football. You can bat on a zuno ya sweeta mush. Panu buda chini jo me bata menoti. Panu ando funga panu day me me uti mi bata ni. And what's the problem? Teams are struggling. Mary, you can talk about the Arukuu ya Darmos versus Caps. Kuna mo mna Arukuu going on? Talk about. Ma kofa zawa bazaar nechi? Nenga watu uya bora tutu da. Kako wana pani game rangari Caps ne Darmos na kanga na Andri ne. Taka tumbo tatu rigo. Pata watu ngo bone ma kamera nongo kutole o di di pata pana nusu plan na kuti di pa after mwa mbora songo di mbo di di kuti sudi sisi na kids. Well, let me take you back a bit to around the time you got mm. you know your video. Binga. Eh. Yeah, Binga. Eh. You said something interesting. You said you're going to start your own radio station. Eh. Eh, so far, baby, how far are you? <laughs> <laughs> my license is full. Eh, hey, my license is ready. As we were in the class, we were just doing something. I was about to say it. As soon as we got out from our house, we got ah. Wanda nzwa yenu kuti ni nani dendri ni nimo dinere du yangu na i songe yangu ya zimwe, pata andofunga in future tufa na utoshi ita bosi unota sa ukata sa kutanzania unona ti diamond anuzania radio station yake, shiru bo mugo kura sunita uti bosi asa bote jino rambesha si ichikura the moyo anongo kuro anokufara ba chuanda ba nvengo ba shidi saka unofa na watu tu chikura chibu watu simba eh zote are dio eru dio eru toa wewe ai tishe plan aiwa bo and there's also something interesting that happened um when you when you uh you had your son and then you wanted to name him yeah the name chapa kuwangu yeah 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 what really what was going on eh lose the ragi lose oh sorry oh that was it but my 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 niece are going to go but what does it mean? As long as the big man, but because must the Ndofunga tufana wazo kwa kumaruzi. Tinyatu wa mashona ya chayo chayo ma Africans chayo chayo bozi. Rungwe zitara nga rdoro rumwa mwono hundi. So ya rindu wakatu kazira ya? Ya, agusikutu nungu wakatu kazira bati. Nukwa nsa kui inerita. From G. Alright. Eh, bati shasi ya nani rangu rungu wakati obey. Eh, 
Undisputed champion. As I know, Charan is a team of songs. I got my self praising. My song, I would be Kanagur Bora and do song a team. All right, all right. You would team you go when you got a Chatanga, Takusa, but a way you song in Gaganangan and Neo. Posting a tour of my stories, the young man, Ganachuko, do each and your own. I choked. Yeah, before I, 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 I go back, uh, you know, Pane something, Chachani, like how it was saying, Kudjani, you know, you have ups and downs in music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in your careers, Nigas, you fire like Bogari, Zana, Mama, Chichi, mm -hmm. you, Oiri, and Ogana, and you guys are sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now, you know, it's, it's up and down like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some people are in Washiti, I took a chari up here. What do you have to say about that? Ah, as not bass as not Because I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if I I so going back to the issue that we're talking about now, we talked about Highlanders. Uh, let's go to Danimus. Tondera uh, Indira came in uh, last year. And uh, he said, I, I just need to stabilize. Then uh, 2020, Nakutanga Zwangu, he made a complete overall yeah. uh, of the team that was there. So 2014 was the last time Danamos won a league championship. Are uh, Danamos now primed? Are in a prime position to win the league championship? Well, like Danamos, you cannot rule anything past them. I always say Danamos are like uh, the lead actor in an action movie. They don't die. They get injured, but they just find a way. You know what Dynamos need this season? They need a person who scores goals and starts to believe that they can do anything. 
Dynamos really is not for, for the most talented of players. I've seen guys come to Dynamos and fail to just lie to Tawanda Nyaman where Dynamos is for the big hearts. You know, when they talk of their legends, their big players, they'll tell you Memorum Cherawa. But for all intents and purposes, Memorum Cherawa was not a classy player. He had a big heart. Moanya Fuhaya Murabi Murabi was not a classy player. But he had a big heart. He wanted to die for Dynamos. Tawanda Mbarat, the star of the year, yes, but not a classy player. But in the big games, I guess Caps United, you would score. I guess Highlanders, you would score. That's what Dynamo's need. They need people who walk into Rufaro Stadium and believe that they know how to play football. That's what just Dynamo's needs. Dynamo's needs players with belief. And fixtures will be key for Dynamo's. A good run of five opening games. And that stadium is filled. And Dimbari.com starts to make noise. Everybody starts believing. Last year when Dynamo's about to do a good run, that one's, I go around Goma. But then I'm going just. <laughs> but when they start believing, mm -hmm. they can do anything. They mm -hmm. can do anything. So I was just following what you were saying from Highlanders. Highlanders, the supporters can make the players do anything. They can. So Highlanders heavily re rely on their supporters. Yeah, they do. Dynamos need players with big hearts. You don't need to be the most talented. Just big But it's your heart. It's your heart. You know, when you step into the farm. Yeah. Let's go to Caps. What, what, do you, do you, what do they need? Caps need to play. Okay. Caps United need to play. They are not worried about it. Caps United just need to do the business. Uh, because... So how, how do you do the business? Last season, you almost win the league championship. And things just went, you know, you end up position number three when you were so primed to winning it. Then uh, come the season, you've got... Uh, I don't know how to call... The, 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 they've got an ensemble. Yeah, because yeah, uh, it's an large squad. Yes. Yeah. So, w what do they need from those players? Because you said they need to play. Yeah, look, Caps United have, I mean, they, they, they let us down in terms of guests on this program, but fair and fine. Gwanzara Stadium is being renovated. Caps United must take the lead of making sure that Gwanzara Stadium is up and running. With their fan base, the National Sports Stadium is too big for Caps United. You get into that stadium. The other bays are empty. Only bay 13 and 14 are full. And the Caps United players are so far away from their fans. Caps United need to play at Gwanzwara. And they need to play. They will need to find a leader. Musaruru, uh, oh yeah. In terms of talking back to the referee, uh, getting other players out of the game. But for him to be said to be a leader, that Caps United look up to, they need a leader, and Caps United need to play. They need a good start. And the Caps United executive need to back Darlington Dodo. All right, so those three clubs, realistically, come end of the 2020 season. Place them. Okay, let me make it simple. Number one, FC Platinum. Two, Chicken in. Three, Dynamos. Four, uh, I don't know, uh, some team that will surprise us. Maybe Ngezi. Highlanders and Cam, top eight. I think top eight. Because the pressure. I don't see Mark Harrison lasting a season at Highlanders. I'm not being pessimistic, but I know the guy. He doesn't last a season anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So what do they do when uh, Mark Harrison lives in, in May? They go for Lulu. And Mantla starts talking about rebuilding the team. <laughs> uh, and then we read stories about Joe... Uh, Johannes Ngozo, maybe can be the next coach, you know, that kind of thing. We know the cycle. They yeah. recycle people. It keeps United if they can beg Darlington Dodo. But uh, a Dynamos is promising. A Dynamos is promising. They've made good signings. Their defense will be strong. If King Nadolo starts scoring, Ngandu Mangala scores four, and everybody starts believing. If the money starts to come, Rudel and George just give them the money. I think they would do well. Mm. Caps United, I'm not too sure. Now they've got this player, they're 30, 40. They are loaning them now to black members. So this was the, the method to the madness. Mm. That so, let's sign these players and then loan them out. Before we get out of here, big game on Saturday, season opener. Huge. Castle Challenge Cup. Uh, it's huge. FC Platinum versus Highlanders. It's huge.
Tata Sua Bora. Hey, yeah, yeah, big time, big mm. time. So w where is this one going? Hey, it's a tight one, eh? Because the Islander players want to make a statement to Dion, who, by the way, has been making a lot of noise on Twitter. I think he needs to slow down in terms of the things that he say. He's running him out. But I think I think Islanders will win. For FC Platinum to go to the, to Blauayu and win at BF, considering what has just happened. That statement is pregnant, my guy. No, I'm just saying. I know Highland. Because they went there in the Cup Champions League. They didn't even win. So. Don't give me one. So this is 2020. Ah, do put together song dedication. I'm Dara Tugu. That's another way to song. Nia Mazwa Rume Nichi Panesong, a report on Zimbabwe when Gish Tor and Israel. Tenema songs I got to one day in Mazimai. Okay. Hey, collaboration together na Mr. Putich. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Amos Mayendere. So my collaboration. Plus. My producers are people. Pablo, I music, Jeez. Simba Wani. <laughs> Don't go to some collaboration. It's we've come to the end of the show, and Tokyo will be closing the show for us. But Thanks a lot for coming. Good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm going to hold you to But thank you so much for joining us on the car. Dinoreva mat lefu, mukagara muri mudenga, muchi. Thank 
Africa, 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 Africa,